is one of the most important issues facing your school-aged child. Standardized testing. The Arizona Board of Education voted 6-2 to two this morning to reject the Common Core standards, but what will take its place? This week, parents have a chance to weigh in on Arizona's math and English standards at a public hearing in Tucson. Now, besides Valerie Cavazos has more on the vote and the hearing. You might remember Abbott and Costello's wacky math routine. Ukraine is 7 times 13 amounts to what? 28. <laughs> Prove that. 7 times 3? Uh, 21. 7 times 1? 7. 7 and 1? 8. And a 2. 28. 28. Oh, wait a minute. Made for great comedy, but math problems like this had thousands of parents complaining on Facebook. The student gave the exact answer, but it was marked wrong because the teacher wanted an estimation. Many parents complain the Common Core methods make simple math as complex as calculus. With Common Core out in Arizona, parents may have less to gripe about, but La Paloma Academy's principal says he's shocked. Who knows how long it'll take for Arizona to, to um, create its own standards, but now we're changing again. One of the lead writers of Arizona's 2010 Common Core Math Standards, UA professor Bill McCollum, told me today he expects only a moderate shift in standards. Are you ready? Yes, yes sir. Go. Mr. Shields' sixth grade class tackles math problems at times the old fashioned way. Principal Ewald says his teachers are more concerned about the rigors of Arizona's current test, AZ Merit. The AZ Merit scores were left a lot to be desired and kind of reminded us, you know, what happens when we have big changes like this. Students have a hard time adjusting and, um, you know, always seems like we're trying to play catch up. This week, the public gets to weigh in. The people that make the decisions in Arizona on education need to hear from the people down in the trenches. The State Board of Education public hearing will be held Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. at Pima Community College's downtown campus. And English standards will be discussed bottom line. For the time being, the current standards will remain in place. The committee that's holding statewide public hearings will continue to meet to discuss what the Arizona's education standards will consist of. The state board is also accept accepting public comments online. We have more information on our website, kega9.com.